Today, we're diving into a truth that might sting a little. Lacking a lot of friends doesn't automatically say anything bad about you. In fact, a wise Stoic philosopher once said that true friendship is like a rare diamond. It's valuable, but often surrounded by fakes. After a few bad experiences, you start thinking all friendships are illusions, just a facade. That's not always true. Real friends are out there, but they're precious and hard to find. So, what does it mean when you feel constantly alone, navigating a world that seems brimming with connections? Could it be a sign of something deeper within you? Let's get into this sensitive topic and explore the nuanced world of friendship, or the lack thereof. We'll examine the complexities of modern social dynamics and how they impact our relationships. Remember, not having a ton of friends doesn't reflect your worth. Sometimes, it's about finding the genuine gems. Join me as I unpack the reasons some struggle to find those connections, uncover the root causes, and most importantly, reveal practical stoic steps for building lasting, authentic friendships. Just like a sculptor chisels away at stone to reveal a masterpiece, you can shape your social world, forging meaningful connections that stand the test of time. Let's focus and embark on this journey together, with open minds and hearts, ready to learn, grow, and connect. Problem 1. Shyness or Introversion We're wired to be social creatures. But for many, the labyrinth of social interaction feels like a puzzle missing pieces. Shyness or introversion are often seen as roadblocks to forming connections. But shift your perspective. Imagine these traits aren't barriers, but unique lenses for viewing the world. The core of Stoicism is transforming weaknesses into strengths. The first step is accepting your nature. Remember the words of Marcus Aurelius, accept the things to which fate binds you. Your introversion isn't a flaw, it's a quiet power. It's the realization that your journey is different, not inferior. Embracing yourself frees you from the shackles of if only and what if. This self-acceptance is your armor in the bustling social world, grounding you in your confident silence. Now, imagine this scenario. You're at a gathering, and that familiar feeling of awkwardness sets in. This is where stoicism shines. It instructs you to focus on what you can control. You control your actions, your words, your kindness, not the thoughts of others or the final outcome. When you speak, do so not to impress, but to express shift the focus from fear of judgment to authenticity in your speech. This will ease the burden, transforming conversations from battlegrounds into playgrounds for real connections. Understand that friendship isn't a trophy to win, but a garden to nurture. When seeking connections, step away from instant gratification expectations. Like Seneca, who viewed life as a journey, see each interaction as a step on your path, not a test of your worth. By focusing on your authentic self, you create space for relationships that resonate with your true nature. Remember, from a stoic perspective, every person you encounter is an opportunity for learning, growth, and reflection, not just another friend to add to your list. Through the stoic lens, shyness and introversion morph from shadows into sources of strength. The issue isn't overcoming these traits but understanding and using them to navigate the complex world of human relationships. Problem 2. Trust As you delve into the maze of friendship, trust emerges as a significant obstacle. It's like walking a tightrope, balancing your own values with the unpredictability of others. Trust isn't freely handed out like a sample at the store, you need to investigate it. Start by knowing yourself, what bothers you? What scares you? Defining who you are is like having a compass in the wilderness of relationships. It's about knowing when to open your door to someone and when to close it. Remember how a tree stands firm, it knows its roots. Like that tree, 
Know the roots of your values. This self-awareness is your anchor in the ever-shifting tides of human connections. Recognize that everyone is like the seasons, constantly changing. Someone might seem trustworthy today, but turn their back on you tomorrow. This isn't a call to build walls around your heart, but an acknowledgement that the only constant is change. Maintain your emotional equilibrium. If trust is broken, it's not the end of the world. It's an opportunity to learn and grow even stronger. This doesn't mean becoming cold or distant. Instead, it's about wise kindness. Understand that perfection is a myth, especially in human behavior. Be like water, adaptable, flowing, but true to your nature. Open, honest communication is your best tool. If doubt creeps in, talk about it. It's like turning on a light in a dark room, clarity emerges. Don't shy away from these conversations, they are the bridges that lead to deeper, more meaningful connections. One conversation can transform a misunderstanding into a moment of understanding. But remember, this is a two-way street. Listen as much as you speak. This balance between speaking and listening creates a rhythm a dance of words and understanding, strengthening the bond of friendship. Ultimately, it's about building a circle of friends where trust is the foundation, not a reminder. Problem 3. Lack of Social Opportunities Navigating the modern world, you might discover a silent truth. Lacking friends isn't always about not meeting people, but about not being fully immersed in your surroundings. Our phones buzz with notifications, yet our hearts yearn for genuine connection. Consider this, volunteering in your community is not just about helping others, it's a gateway to meeting kindred spirits who share similar passions. Whether you're planting trees or organizing books at the local library, every shared task weaves you into the fabric of society. These actions reflect stoic virtue, contributing to something bigger than yourself. And as you do so, you'll discover fellow travelers on the same path. Don't overlook the power of shared knowledge and passion. Imagine walking into a room where everyone speaks the language of your profession or interests. Workshops and seminars related to your hobbies are not just resume boosters, they're fertile ground for friendship. In these spaces, conversations flow naturally, you're surrounded by people who understand the nuances of your work or passions. It's like finding your tribe, where professional growth and personal connections go hand in hand. Also, embrace the great outdoors as a social landscape. Activities like hiking, cycling, or group yoga aren't just for physical well-being. They act as catalysts for connection within nature's embrace. Conversations blossom like wildflowers, and these activities strip away the formalities of typical social settings, allowing genuine connections to flourish. And as you're out there, practice gratitude for the world around you and those sharing these moments. It's not about the quantity of friends, it's about cherishing the connections that color your life. This approach stems from simplicity and sincerity, turning the pursuit of friendship into a fulfilling journey. Problem 4. Lack of Social Skills Friendships don't just happen, they require effort and the right approach. This is often overlooked in our busy lives. A lack of social skills can be a significant hurdle to forming meaningful friendships. Remember, Marcus Aurelius wisely urged us to love what fate brings you. This motivates us to embrace social opportunities, no matter how small. Start with manageable steps, strike up a conversation at a coffee shop, join a local club, or engage in online communities with shared interests. These small interactions build a foundation of confidence in social settings. Just as a tree needs water and sunlight, social skills need nurturing and patience to flourish. A crucial element in developing social skills is listening with purpose and empathy. In a world where everyone wants to be heard, 
Being a listener sets you apart. Ask questions, not just to answer, but to understand. Dive into other people's stories with genuine curiosity. This shift in focus, from being seen to truly seeing others, creates deeper connections. It's not about impressing with your wit or stories, but about creating a space where others feel valued and heard. Additionally, welcome the ups and downs of social interactions with equanimity. Stoicism teaches us that not every conversational attempt will lead to a long-term friendship, and that's okay. Every interaction, whether it blossoms into a friendship or fades away, is a step forward on your social journey. Rejection doesn't reflect your worth, it's a natural part of human interaction. With every experience, you not only build your social skills, but you also learn to navigate the complexities of human relationships with grace and resilience. Remember, your value doesn't depend on the number of friends you have, but the quality of the relationships you cultivate. Problem 5. Shifting Priorities Sometimes, the absence of friends in your life might mirror the story of the boy and the apple tree. The story reflects how our priorities change as we age, often distancing us from connections that were once vital. In our youth, friendships are like carefree playtime under the branches of that apple tree. But as we grow older, like the boy, our focus shifts toward what we perceive as essential, money, status, or roof over our heads. In this pursuit, we might unintentionally neglect those friendships that once sheltered us, like the apple tree providing shade. This shift in priorities isn't unusual, it's part of maturing and evolving. But often, in chasing what we think we need, we overlook what we already have. The boy only returned to the tree when he needed something, not realizing the constant, unwavering friendship it offered without complaint. Similarly, in the hustle to achieve success and stability, we might disregard those friends who are silently rooting for us. What's the result of this? Maybe a void filled with accomplishments, yet lacking genuine, heartfelt connections. Rebuilding or nurturing friendships requires conscious effort. It's not about grand gestures, but about small, consistent acts of kindness and understanding. Start by reaching out, initiating conversations, and being present, not just during joyous moments but also in times of need. Remember, friendships, like trees, develop deep roots over time, not overnight. The tale of the boy and the tree teaches us that friendship is a two-way street, requiring care from both sides. The boy only remembered the tree when he needed it. Be the one who values and nurtures these relationships consistently. Problem number six, shifting priorities or growing up. In our ever-changing lives, where we must juggle careers, education, and personal development, shifting priorities often act as a silent architect in building or diminishing friendships. Stoicism, a philosophy relevant to our modern era as it was in ancient times, teaches us to embrace the dynamic nature of life. Imagine your life as a constantly flowing, changing river. As you navigate the rapids of career milestones or the calm waters of family life, your social interaction time naturally ebbs and flows. This isn't a failure, it's simply the reality of a life fully lived. Stoicism offers practical guidance for these transitions. When your days are packed with meetings, deadlines, or family responsibilities, you might strive to maintain a wide circle of friends. However, Stoicism advises quality over quantity. A few deep, meaningful connections are better than many fleeting ones. This approach isn't about cutting everyone out, it's about focusing your energy where it matters most. By doing this, you honor not only your time but also the time of others, nurturing genuine, fulfilling relationships. Adapting to shifting priorities in life through the lens of Stoicism doesn't mean embracing a life with fewer friends. It's about understanding and accepting the natural flow of relationships. 
Some friends might drift away, while others will stay, or even enter your life. Embrace this journey with wisdom and courage. Remember that each friend you encounter, whether for a season or a lifetime, contributes a unique value to your life tapestry. Be present in your interactions, and let stoicism guide you in building friendships that are not only meaningful but also resonate with the person you're becoming. Problem 7. Maintaining a Calm Mindset Our mental well-being often gets pushed aside in the hustle and bustle of life. It's a silent foundation for the structure of friendships. Stoicism, a philosophy not only about ancient wisdom stones but also about modern resilience, illuminates this. When our inner world is clouded with worry or shrouded in depression, it's like trying to find your way through a social maze in the dark. Stoicism teaches us to light a lamp, not to banish the darkness completely, but to see the path through it. As George Carlin pointed out, underneath all that cynicism is a disappointed idealist. This isn't about seeing life through rose-colored glasses, but recognizing that our mental battles can inadvertently build walls, not bridges, between us and potential friends. Now, look at a key aspect, mindfulness and stillness. It's not a fancy word for daydreaming. It's about presence, being fully present, in a world where our attention is the most sought-after commodity. Being fully present during a conversation is like offering a rare gift. It demonstrates your care, and that's what makes friendships. Furthermore, meditation isn't just for monks. It's for everyone, addressing life's demands. The benefits of 10 minutes a day extend beyond your brain. They signal to others that you value clarity and composure. The goal of stillness might sound luxurious in our 24-7 world, but it's the foundation for lasting friendships. Stillness isn't escaping to the beach, it's finding peace amidst chaos. It's having an anchor, so when life storms come, you don't get swept away. Friends are not just for sunny days, they're your refuge during storms. By striving for inner peace, you become the kind of person others want to gravitate toward. Stoicism teaches us that this inner peace can be achieved through self-reflection and fortitude. It's recognizing your emotions, understanding them, and not letting them control your actions. This doesn't mean becoming emotionless, it's about controlling how you react to your emotions. When you master this, you become a beacon of stability in an often unpredictable world. People naturally are drawn to those who exude calmness and understanding. By cultivating inner peace, you've inadvertently created a welcoming space for friendship to bloom. Remember, when you pursue mental well-being, you not only nourish your mind, but also plant seeds for deeper, more meaningful connections. Problem 8. Choosing Your Lifestyle the fast-paced rhythm of life often leads to a lonely path where friendships fade. Picture this, you're racing against the clock, ticking off to-do lists, but at the end of the day, the seat opposite you at the dinner table remains empty. It's not just about being busy, it's about what you prioritize. Stoicism urges us to carefully examine our choices. Are you filling your time with what truly matters? Reflecting on this can be a game-changer. It's about finding the courage to say no to things that steal your time, not serving your need for deeper connections. Now, consider this approach. Shape your day like a sculptor shaping a masterpiece. Each choice is a chisel stroke, carving out time for both responsibilities and relationships. This isn't about stretching your day to fit more in, but about arranging it wisely. You might have less time for socializing, but the quality of those moments can increase by choosing the right people, those who resonate with your values. Every interaction becomes more meaningful. It's about depth, not breadth, in your social world. Recall the art of stoic balance. It's not just about dividing your time equally, but about arranging it to align with what makes life truly fulfilling. Imagine your life as a mosaic, 
with each tile representing an aspect of your existence, work, hobbies, rest, and friendships. Each holds a position. Your task is to arrange these tiles to create a harmonious pattern. This is a balancing act requiring constant adjustment and reflection. But when you do it right, your life mosaic becomes not just beautiful but also deeply satisfying. Problem 9. Differences in Interests Diverse interests can be like different musical notes, each unique, but part of a larger melody. When there's a clash of interests, it's not just a missed note, it's a potential symphony of connections waiting to be played. Let's say you love rock music, but your coworker loves classical. There's a gap, but also a bridge waiting to be crossed. Stoicism encourages us to embrace these differences, not as obstacles, but as stepping stones to a broader horizon. It whispers, find harmony in discord. By focusing solely on your own interests, we risk creating a bubble, limiting our worldviews and our circles of friends. By opening our arms to the diverse passions surrounding us, we not only learn about new interests, but we also unlock doors to new relationships and perspectives. As the saying goes, variety is the spice of life. Stoicism promotes this curiosity, reminding us that every person we encounter holds a treasure trove of experiences, dreams, and passions. Let's say you're an avid runner, and your neighbor is a gardener. Instead of nodding and walking away, ask about the types of plants, ask about their favorite blooms. Show interest in their world. It's not about faking a love for gardening, it's about appreciating their passion and, in turn, allowing them to see and appreciate your own. This shared curiosity is a powerful glue that binds people together across differing interests. It's about understanding that beneath these hobbies and passions, we share common ground in our excitement, dedication, and joy. Stoicism acts as a compass, guiding us to find commonality in shared values and human emotions, not just shared interests. This is a world of friendship not based solely on liking the same things, but on understanding and appreciating each other's differences. It's a world where a sports fanatic and a bookworm can find common ground in their shared love of competition and the joy of learning. In this dance of friendship, Stoicism teaches us to lead with open hearts and open minds, forging connections not just about what we do, but about who we are and who we can become together. Remember, the richness of our friendships isn't measured by how alike we are. It's in accepting and growing from our differences. Stoicism isn't about hiding your feelings, it's about understanding them. Seek out friendships that resonate with your heart. If you find value in these stoic insights, please give the video a thumbs up to help me reach more people seeking ancient wisdom. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit the bell notification for more lessons on ancient wisdom. I'm eager to hear how you navigate the flow of friendship, whether you're an introvert finding comfort in quiet connections or an extrovert thriving on the energy of diverse experiences. Everyone is a valuable part of this stoic community. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Be persistent, and continue to cultivate those meaningful connections.